Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Um, I have a pretty mysterious find for you guys today. Um, now, as you know, we've talked in the past a lot. I'm not as much as I'd like, but we are going to dive, uh, no pun intended, uh, into the mysteries of the ocean uh, in the future on this channel. And as I said, we've done a few videos in the past uh, about the fact that basically our oceans are 90% undiscovered and uncharted. I mean, we are living, I mean, forget alien planets, you know, light years away. We have an alien system in and of itself right here in our oceans, of which 10% we have charted and we have somewhat gathered data and, you know, discovered certain species of animals. But the majority of our oceans are alien to us. We have no idea what's there. And if you've watched our past videos, you'll know that there is just as much UFO and mysterious activity happening in our oceans as there is in space or on other planets or on the moon. And we're going to discuss a few things that we found uh, regarding these mysteries in our ocean. But first, we're going to start with this new find that was emailed to me by a Mr. Peter Collier. Now, he was looking over the Google Earth uh, ocean imagery when he came across these very mysterious lines and patterns at the bottom of the ocean, um, the North Pacific Ocean, and we will put the coordinates to this down in the video description. This is off the coast of California, Southern California. And as you're seeing here, uh, we have some very strange lines that almost look like there was a large vehicle moving on the bottom of the ocean. Now, some have said that these are actually sonar lines uh, created by boats scanning the ocean floor. Uh, however, some of these tracks uh, definitely seem to be dug into the soil and are complete with shadows and, um, you know, basically look like these massive trenches that aren't just image artifacts or sonar readings or anything like that. And there's uh, some other discoveries we've seen here. Now, as we zoom in, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of blurring. I've noticed and I've spoken with many other researchers before about this. Uh, there are certain areas in the ocean that are obviously blurred out. And again, as I said, uh, and I've said before, what better place for another race, uh, another group of beings to hide than in the deep of our own oceans? While we're up staring at the sky all day and worrying about space and what's out there, we have 90% of our oceans unchartered. We have no idea what's there, and we've had a lot of mysterious UFO phenomena happening in our oceans. So we see some of these tracks here. And again, as I said, some of these truly do uh, look to be dug out by something. Now, what really has caught in my eye is the fact that there looks to be some very large structures down here that are indeed carving out large trenches in the bottom of the ocean, uh, which are certainly not created by sonar or anything like that. And I'm going to show you this here. Now, you may see it, but if you don't, I want you to turn your attention to this circular object right here. Now, look at this thing. Well, first of all, we have one of these massively long trenches, and you can see the sides of it. I mean, there's, there's shadowing here. I mean, this looks dug in to the sand. And in the middle of this long path, which again heads over to this area here, which holds some very anomalous items, uh, we see this large circular object and an obvious path or trail created by this object. Look at this thing zigzagging. Look at this thing moving. And we can follow this thing down all the way down here, continues here, and goes into this blurred out area. How convenient. So we'll follow this track back up and it zigzags and now this is very peculiar and you're going to see why here in a second because honestly i don't know how this was created so we have this zigzag pattern carved completely out of the bottom of the ocean soil and it leads up directly to this almost perfectly circular object i mean look at that it's a perfect spherical or saucer shaped object dug in to the soil now what's kind of freaky is that when we measure this thing, which we'll do now, this object is over two miles in length and diameter. I mean, you can see it right here. We use the measuring tool and here we have it. 
and we have a total distance of 4.61 kilometers or 2.87 miles. So between 2.5 and 2.87 miles in length. Now what, what object that's in this perfect circle would be two and a half miles long? And I mean, look at this, look at this trail that was created by this thing. Now, I could understand if this was maybe a slab of rock uh, sitting on a hill, uh, which, you know, slid down and created a large path in the soil, but there's no hills here. I mean, we have some hilly areas here and here, but at large, this is a, a virtually flat area where this object is located. It's perfectly flat here. And we don't see what we would what we would believe to see would be, you know, more of a straight line had this been some sort of slab of rock sliding down a hill, which again doesn't exist. But instead, we have this long zigzagging pattern back and forth, down, curving around, going back down here. I mean, this object has traveled miles. I mean, let's let's go ahead and measure just how far this thing has gone. Okay. This isn't even how far it's gone. It's gone actually farther, but just from the area that it's landed here to here, 41 miles this object has moved. 41 miles. A two and a half mile long circular object, which again, look at this thing. It's a perfect circle. What object this large is moving under the ocean zigzagging like this? as if under some artificial control, intelligent control, that is going to move 46 miles at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, what is this thing? And then you see this trail here, and right near it, we have some other odd objects. We have some more circular objects here, some donut-shaped objects. But when we followed this trail, which oddly enough, leads directly to this mountainous range, possibly a volcano, um, but we see this large area, and it leads smack dab right in the middle, straight up to this thing, like you would see in a driveway, heading up to a mansion. And right at the edge of this so-called ocean floor driveway, we have another large circular donut-shaped object, which again looks very peculiar. I mean, again, it's a perfect circle, another circle inside, and there looks to be an object inside the hole here. And again, it's at the end of this long trail, of which we see this two and a half mile long object. I want to know what this thing is. What is moving at the bottom of our ocean? I mean, it's, it's just scary to think of a two and a half mile long object that's moving this way. And then we have this large mountainous terrain here. We have this odd circular object. And when I was looking at this, um, this terrain, I found a, a small area here there definitely looks to be some possibly artificial structures built into this thing because if you look right here we almost have what looks like a like a platform almost almost like what you would think of possibly a helicopter pad or just a base of some sort we have a circular object sticking out of the side uh, we have a long corridor here connecting to another large circle um so again it's just it looked artificial to me it could be nothing but again there's a lot of anomalous things happening in this area I mean, look at this thing. You can see this thing from miles up. And as I was stating before, there have been a, a, many anomalous things found in our ocean that we've reported on in the past. Uh, there was talk of a possible underground base found a few years ago, if you'll remember, which you're seeing in this image here from Google Earth. Uh, and this was right off of uh, Malibu, California at Point Doom, uh, which appears... Uh, at the time, to have been the holy grail of these underground bases. And uh, this plateau here, and you can see as a perfectly flat top, circular top, with what look like these massive pillars. And, you know, a, a, a large underground space here. And, I mean, look at this thing. Does this honestly look natural to you? And I don't think Google, or the government for that matter, understood how many of these anomalies would be present when mapping the ocean floor, 90% of which they have no idea what's there. And every time we seem to find one of these structures, these anomalies, these artificial uh, bodies under here, or these two mile long objects moving along the ocean floor, zigzagging, they always seem to come out with a clever cover story. And then there was a case of a man who was flying over the ocean and snapped these images that you're seeing here 
of a, a large group of thousands of multicolored glowing lights underneath the ocean surface. And this was in the middle of the ocean. No land for hundreds of miles. And as you're seeing in these images, um, you could see these lights for miles after passing overhead. And to this day, no one has any idea what these lights were. You know, it's just another unknown mystery of our ocean. And then moving on to another strange find, which is actually uh, originally found, well, it was originally reported on by uh, Scott Waring over at UFOSightingsDaily.com, who found uh, this odd formation of structures you're seeing here at the bottom of the ocean, um, where we see these six objects uh, sitting at the bottom of the ocean, all lined up, pointing, all pointing directly to the middle here, uh, where oddly enough, it is completely blurred out this area of ocean where these objects they all look like arrows pointing to it they almost look like they're stationed there almost like a military positioning and of course we see the blurring here which you all know is something that the government has had a long history of doing we've shown you countless moon photos where they've blurred out structures as you're seeing here blurred out towers on the moon buildings vehicles and this is no different and, and you know and we can go back to one of the most famous uh, ocean UFO stories was that of Admiral Byrd, who took a fleet of Navy ships down to Antarctica. And this fleet of Navy ships were attacked by saucers, flying saucers, that came up out of the ocean, down on the coast of Antarctica. And Admiral Byrd spoke about this. I mean, it's a well-known story. Admiral Byrd was a well-known, well-respected man. And he, and he, plain as day, said that there are objects, flying objects, under the ocean, and that these things are highly dangerous, and that one of the greatest unknown threats that we may face in the future is not from another country, but from these objects coming from the sea. So again, we go back to this object. Uh, again, it's a very mysterious. I mean, this is just an enigma here. This two-and-a-half-mile sphere that seems to be zigzagging across the surface uh, of the, the bottom of the ocean here. Um, it's an amazing find because what better place to hide secrets than in the deep blue sea? Most of which no one ever sees, no one ever goes to, and is undiscovered at a rate of 90%. So, you know, it's common sense that within the ocean lies a massive, camouflaged, secret oasis to hide these structures. So whether they are ours or whether they are someone else's, we are definitely going to dive, <laughs> no pun intended once again, into this subject further. And we will post updates as we get them and uh, definitely look out for future videos on this USO phenomenon as it's called and yeah you can check out the coordinates yourself down in the video description and uh stick around because we've got a lot more coming stay safe guys